It has been quite a journey from Kanjuchi village in Kayunga district to attaining a PhD in mathematics. On Monday, 31-year-old Dr. Olivia Nabawanda was awarded a PhD in mathematics, making her one of the youngest to obtain a PhD this year. But she is certainly the youngest to get one in mathematics from Makere University. Olivia, who is also a member of Uganda Women Mathematicians, says there are few women who have attained PhDs and most of those who have attained them are mostly foot years and above. Olivia's journey started from a humble background in Kayunga, where she attended UPE schools in which pupils studied on empty stomachs and it was rare to find a pupil putting on shoes. But despite the hardships, Olivia managed to score a three in mathematics in her primary living examinations. However, Olivia had expected to do better because mathematics was her favorite subject. Dr. Olivia, Talking about math puts a smile on Olivia's face. Although she always had the passion for the subject, having nurturing teachers made her even love mathematics more. Some teachers are tough. Some teachers are not approachable. So with that kind of perception, a student is going to go to class when they're already biased. At A level, Olivia opted to do physics, chemistry, biology and math with the intention of becoming a pharmacist. However, things did not work out the way she had hoped and she sometimes regretted having chosen that particular subject combination. So we'd go to class and the teacher is teaching, you're not grasping things. So I remember one day I was like, I have a textbook. Uh, the textbook used in mathematics, paper one. Uh, is back house. We have back house one, back house two. So I went back to the dormitory. I was like, today I'm, I have to read this topic from the very first page using a textbook, not following the teacher's notes in class. And Olivia's dream of becoming a pharmacist would not materialize because she was offered a government scholarship to do a bachelor's degree in education, specializing in physics and math at Mbara University. My teachers also tried convincing my dad that why don't you try as much as possible to get money, look for money, at least take this girl uh, to Makere for nursing. My dad seemed convinced, but towards the end, he was like, you know what, Olivia? No, you go and do the course they have given you in government. Throughout her academic journey, her teachers already saw potential in her and encouraged her to do more. In her third year, her lecturer encouraged her to apply for a master's degree, but she was reluctant to do so because she still had hopes of studying pharmacy. My plan was to finish the, de the, the degree, then I go into the world, get like many schools, four or five schools, get some money here, there, 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 so that I have some huge amount at the end of the month and my plan was to pay for myself and I was planning to go back and do pharmacy. Olivia Nabawanda was able to attain master's degree in mathematics from Cape Coast University in Ghana and she was later called to lecture at Mbara University in 2015. She lectured for about a year before she enrolled for her PhD. At first okay, I was like because the time I came back from my master's I was really tired. The course was hectic. Remember, I had not taken a break from my first degree, now master's. So I've just completed master's. I thought I would rest a little bit. Now they're telling me, if you're going to remain in academia, you need the PhD. Mm. Don't, don't, you don't need to rest, just continue. Olivia says for students to start appreciating and understanding math, a deliberate effort has to be made to change perceptions and learner-based teaching methods have to be encouraged. Involve the learners in class. Don't just go to class and start writing from the beginning of the blackboard up to the end and you come back and rap without at least asking the students. Whereas many think at her age she's majorly focused on academics, Olivia says she also has a social life and hopes to start a family soon. She's currently focusing on becoming a professor and doing research. Robert Atkunda, NTV.